we are asked to use a distributive property to complete the table. The distributive property states that a times the quantity b plus c equals a times b plus a times c, as well as a times the quantity b minus c equals a times b minus a times c. This is often referred to as multiplication across addition or subtraction. In the first expression, we are given two times the quantity three x plus eight. To determine the product, we distribute the two, which gives us two times three x plus two times eight, which is what we enter here. Again, we have two times three x plus two times eight after distributing. And now we simplify the products. Two times three x is six x, and two times eight is 16, giving us the expression six x plus 18. Next, we have four times the quantity six x minus nine. To determine the product, we distribute four, which gives us four times six x minus four times nine. And now we determine the products. Four times six x is 24 x. Four times nine is 36, giving us the expression 24 x minus 36. Next, we have negative three times the quantity two x plus seven. We distribute negative three, which gives us negative three times two x plus negative three times seven. So again, we have negative three times two x plus negative three times seven. Negative three times two x is negative six x. And notice here we're going to have plus negative three times seven, which is plus negative 21. Remember, adding a negative is equivalent to subtracting a positive, and therefore, instead of writing plus negative 21, it's more common to just write minus positive 21. Again, just to be clear about this, we have negative six x and then plus negative 21, but adding a negative 21 is equivalent to subtracting positive 21. And this form is much more common than this form. Next, we have negative five times the quantity negative three x minus six. We distribute negative five, which gives us negative five times negative three x minus negative five times six. Well, negative five times negative three x is positive 15 x. And then notice here we have minus negative five times six, which is minus negative 30. Remember, subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive, and therefore we should write this as 15 x plus 30. Again, just to be clear, we have positive 15 x minus negative 30, subtracting negative 30 is equivalent to adding positive 30. If we go back to the original expression, another way to think of this is just negative five times negative three x is positive 15 x, and then for the next product, we can think of this as negative five times negative six, which gives us positive 30 or plus 30. And now for the last expression, we have the opposite of the quantity negative x plus eight. When we have a negative outside the parentheses like this, it can be helpful to think of this as negative one times the quantity negative x plus eight, and then distribute negative one. Using this method, when we distribute, we have negative one times negative x plus negative one times eight. So again, negative one times negative x plus negative one times eight. There's the sum of the products. Negative one times negative x is positive one x or x. And then again, notice here we have plus negative one times eight, which is plus negative eight, which is equivalent to minus positive eight. I hope you found this helpful.